Authorities are cracking down on some campus protests against the war in Gaza. Hundreds of arrests have been made across the country, and the University of Southern California announced it is canceling its commencement ceremony over what it calls safety concerns. Meantime, here at home, the encampment on Brown University's main green continues. Students waiting for the president's response to their demands, which include divesting in the Israel-Hamas war and dropping charges against students arrested at a previous sit-in. 12 News reporter Lauren Brill brings us the latest on this protest. Lauren? Well, Kim Kayla, this demonstration of over 100 students continues to be peaceful. Now, a spokesperson for the university tells me as of right now, no arrests have been made. It's day three of Brown University students camping out on the school's green. This is 12 News drone footage of the growing encampment. The Brown Divest Coalition showing no signs of stopping. We have grown considerably in numbers. The Brown University Community Council recommended that the charges against the 41 students from the previous demonstration be dropped. I was one of those students who arrested on November 8th as a member of Jews for Ceasefire Now, along with 19 of my comrades from the same organization. And, um, you know, we're back here because we want the university University to know that they cannot silence us. And suggested the students present their case on divestment to the university's corporation during its meeting next month. This was such an electric moment for, for us at the encampment. Calling it a big step in the right direction, but they're pushing for more. Christina Paxson specifically has yet to publicly respond to say um, if she will be taking into consideration those recommendations that the, that the council made, so that's the next pressure point. Friday afternoon, campus police and public safety could be seen monitoring an afternoon rally. Students tell me they were told to stop using a megaphone. Other than that, things have remained peaceful with music and dancing. Palestinian dancing that's been happening every night around 6. Um, we've been having people hold their seders, um, celebrations for Passover during the week. But according to the university, they'll act as necessary if the demonstration begins to escalate and all students will likely face disciplinary action. Armand says they've been prepared for this from the beginning. The university gets to choose what it wants to do with us. We've laid out clear demands. We've laid out a clear way for the university to meet us where we're at, and it's up to them at this point. Now, as we mentioned, USC has canceled their graduation ceremony because of the protests there. I've asked Brown University if there's any plan to do the same, but have not heard back. Live in studio, Lauren Brill, 12 News.